In the last video, we got our template object working, at least the basics, and we had the load function working. Next thing that I want to do is I want to create some sort of system that allow us to save and retrieve variables inside this template object so we can display them within our views. And um, I did this previously with the other login video series that I did using just a standard PHP based array. However, um, since we have a template object, I want to make sure that anything related to the template stays within the template. So I'm going to create um, setter and getter functions within this object to set any data that's going to be used by our views. So now that we have this load function in place, let me go ahead and start by including another function. And I'll preface this with the get slash set data comment, just so I keep things organized. And I'm going to create a function that I'm going to call set data. And we're going to give this function two variables or two um, arguments. So we're going to pass in the name of the variable that we want to set and the value. And in order to save data within this object, we need some sort of variable to save it in. So up at the top, beneath uh, class template, I'm going to include a variable. I'm going to call it private data, like this. Oopsie. <clears throat> data, like that. And I will save this. And the private, as I believe Stefan talked about in the beginner's object-oriented um, series was the, the private indicates that this variable is only going to be accessible within this particular class. So I can't access this data variable outside of the class, for example, here. So what I'm going to do within my set data function is I'm going to set this data and I'm going to make data be an array. The array key will be the name that we provide, and that's going to equal the HTML entities. And in this case, I'm maybe using the set data function to grab information from our view, um, for example, input from forms and similar. So I'm using the, H the HTML entities function to clean our data. So HTML entities, and we're going to provide the HTML entities function with the value and ent quotes, like so. And this is pretty standard. So let's save this. And um, now that our data is set, and let me show you an example. Um, we could do um, template that data and we provide it two strings. One is the name of the variable and the value. So this is what our set data function will look like when we call it. And uh, this set data function isn't very useful unless we have some way of accessing this data. So I'm going to follow that with another function and it's going to be function get data. And all we're going to do with this function, the only argument it's going to have is the name of the variable that we're trying to get. So in this case, I'm going to do if is set. So this makes sure that the variable we are trying to access, <coughs> excuse me, um, is accessible. We're going to use this data, and we're going to provide it the key within our data array, so name. So if that's set, we want to return the value. Otherwise, let's return a blank string like so. 
With get data and set data in place, let's go ahead and modify our code a little bit to test this functionality. So I'm going to go back to login.php and I'm going to move this set data function up above the loading of our view, like so. So I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to go to our view. And the convenient thing about the way the template object works is because this view is loaded within this template object, that means we can use the uh, this. Let me show you. We can use the this variable to call functions within that template object. So what we can do is we can do echo this get data and I'm going to pass in the variable that we want to display. In this case, I want to display name because that's what we set here within the set data function. And let me remove the test. Save this and preview and see how, what it looks like. So you'll notice now the H1 holds our value, which we set using the set data function. So that's working perfectly. Um, let's also check, let's change name. I'll just change it to name two. And let's preview this. And it looks like we get a blank string like we should. Um, you could potentially change this to return an error message of some sort, um, you know, variable not set or something similar. It's up to you. I'm just going to leave it with a blank string for the moment.